none of that until they come and bother me. Whether it's fucking up my end score, or say it's sitting there trying to chew my face off. Someone there? The fact of the matter is, any animal is okay in my eyes, including humans, until they come and mess with me. Then it's free game where they will probably be killed because I don't take kindly to people messing with me. Nor animals. May seem cruel, but that's just how I ended up. Ah, bitch. Oven War Axe is okay. It's a definite upgrade to my dagger here, but my dagger is still going to do much more damage. True, that Elven War Axe has 15 damage and this dagger only has 10, but you also got to take into account that this dagger, whenever it's a sneak attack, is doing times 15 damage. Want to nom on that spider egg? I'll never tell you anything, vampire. I don't know what the fuck I just picked. Oh, it was a scroll. I owe to Stendar, stronger than any suffering you can inflict on me. I believe you, and I don't think you even know what you <laughs> Fail. Oh, I know what this part is. I don't want to get my bow out because I'm going to get a lot of very easy to escape sneak attacks. These guys are, obviously every single one of them are vampires, but more importantly these guys are very easy to get sneak attacks on and get hidden. Now I will show you how here in just a second. See this ledge right here? Not the one I'm standing on, the one that's right below me. Get slipped down on top. There we go. These guys will be hostile, by the way, so be absolutely sure you're going to want to try and kill these guys. Well, of course you're going to want to try and kill these guys. But yeah, being right here will make it impossible for them to find you. All you got to do is just hang around for a while. Don't move. Do not move an inch. That'll just make things worse. If you've got a hundred percent sneak or a hundred in your sneak stat, then you can move all you want. But I currently do not. The main thing is unless your sneak stat is maxed out, they will be able to see you moving around in the darkness. But, it's like I said, this is a very easy way of getting a good amount of increase to your sneak stat. They'll never come onto this ledge. It's too narrow for them to figure out that you can walk onto it. In fact, I figured this out the first time I played this DLC. Unfortunately, my sneak stat was already maxed out at the time, but... 
at least this will show you guys that it is a very very easy way of getting sneak attacks and sneak attacks is what is going to increase your uh, sneak skill the most that and alerting people and becoming hidden So, one problem's been solved. Two problem have been solved. I just got the troll left. Or a thrall. Whatever this asshole is, is gonna die. Hello? Who's there? And of course, for those who are going, eh, fight, fight these guys legitimately. If I was gonna fight people legitimately, I wouldn't be taking sneak. I wouldn't be playing a stealth-based character. If I know of a glitch or an exploit or something, you can be damn certain that I am going to take full advantage. That's just how I fucking do things. Picked up a couple of bone meal. Very nice. Um, nom. And you were just a thrall, so you do not have, uh, you do not have anything of importance. Now then, I don't know how people find this a hard puzzle, but all in all, it's actually really simple. You move these, and people generally choose to do this one first because it will then light up the path that you need to do. Then you move the next one to where the light ends. That one will light up and take you over to the next one. It's not all that hard. In fact, there are just three positions for each one of these. So it's, it's really not a terrible, terrible problem of figuring out how to solve this puzzle. There, puzzle solved. It's not all that hard of a puzzle and I don't understand how people have a hard time doing this puzzle. Hey, hot stuff. That's a dragon scroll on your back, ain't it? You here? I sent myself, bitch. Uh, hold on, viewers. Welcome back, viewers. Sorry about that interruption. It was just somebody talking about taxes. Baron, I sent you here. Okay, so let's try this one again. Give me a second. Come on, come on. There we go. Much better. Huh. I don't know who that is. Is he... like me? You're a... Uh... Vampire. Yes. Why were you locked away like this? That's... complicated. And I'm not totally sure if I can trust you. But if you want to know the whole story, help me get back to my family's home. Hmm. Where do you need to go? My family used to live on an island to the west of Solitude. I would guess they still do. By the way, my name is Serana. Good to meet you. Any ideas how to get out there? Good as mine. This place looks pretty different from when I was locked away. Well, there we go. We got a new follower. And be very careful, viewers, because... Well, she won't die, but as you make your way up the steps, gargoyles will activate. And these guys, you do not want to fight right now. 
Especially if you're playing a stealth-based character where you're a flimsy fucking piece of paper. Those gargoyles will kinda destroy you. So just stealth your way over to this wooden door. I'm gonna get my dagger at the ready. Well then this is actually another perfect place to get a increase to your sneaking. When you pull that lever, a vampire will appear, but also a cloth also skeleton along with a couple other uh, enemies. As long as you got a decent enough snow, snow, stealth stat, you should be able to sneak up on these guys real easily. Of course, this is the main reason why I don't like having allies, because... Ah. Once they join into the fray, I no longer get my sneak attack bonus. Because for some reason, it's counted as a, uh, as them seeing me. starting to get up there. Which of course is a very good thing. I mean 72 at the moment. That's the thing I was talking about, I do believe. Maybe it's that thing way over there. Yeah, it's that thing way over there. Fighting that thing is another no-go on me fighting it head-on. But you want to try and get it dead, because one, it's a freaking... One, it's a freaking thing that is awesome that you can murder. Great vigor. Nice, right, so I'll take that. But more importantly, it'll try and get in your way when you come over here to learn a new thug. Word of power, stamina drain, vitality. See. Drain vitality, stamina. What's funny is drain vitality has the exact same thum words as another of the uh, as another one of the uh, things you can learn. One that you learn over in. Uh, one that you will learn over in the Dark Brotherhood. I fucking put just you fucking stole my kill, bitch.
Well, that takes care of that. Now we're getting dragged all the way over here. Useful, ain't it? Let's see. This seems to be the closest that I've discovered. Well, that's the closest that'll get. By the way, if you're curious as to what happens when you say